We're at Lesson 4.3D, Assessing Proportionality. We can use logical reasoning and facts about proportional relationships to decide whether a relationship between two quantities is proportional. Are the ratios constant? Does the equation have the form y is equal to kx? Does the graphed line go through the origin? Here we have some ordered pairs, and they can be graphed on a coordinate plane. We have 20 divided by 4, that's equal to 5, and 25 divided by 5, that's equal to 5, and 30 divided by 6, that's equal to 5. This is in the form of y divided by x is equal to k. The constant of proportionality, k, is 5. It's a constant rate of change because they're all equal to 5. The relationship between these quantities is proportional. Sam and Dave raked the leaves in Mr. Lee's yard to earn money. They each worked at the same rate. Together, Sam and Dave finished the job in three hours. This means that Sam worked for three hours and Dave worked for three hours. If Sam worked alone, it would have taken him six hours to complete the job. He would have been doing it by himself. It would have taken him double the time to finish it if he did it alone. Now, if Bob and Gus helped Sam and Dave, it would have taken only one and a half hours to complete the job because now there's four workers so they can go even faster. One person would equal six hours. Two people, like here, it took three hours. Four people would be half of that. It would be one and a half hours. And this relationship is not proportional. If it was, doubling the workers would double the hours to keep the ratio of hours to workers constant. When we added Bob and Gus, so there were now four people, if this was proportional, it would have taken double the amount of time. It would have taken six hours, but that's not logical. That's what would happen if Sam worked alone. The, for common sense, the more workers, the less time it takes. You have more people chipping in to help. So this is not pr a proportional relationship because here we have the more people working, the less the hours are. See, if the relationship was proportional, more workers would make more hours to rake Mr. Lee's yard. That's not logical. More workers really makes a job go faster. The job will be completed in less time. So this wouldn't make sense. Having two workers, it taking three hours. Having four workers, it taking six hours. That's not what would happen. So it's not proportional. Even though we can make this graph and we can even make it go through the origin, it doesn't make sense that four workers would need six hours. It's not logical. Emma paid $10 to enter a county fair, then paid $5 for each ride she went on. The graph shows the relationship between the number of rides she went on and the total cost. We can see that zero rides is $10. The initial $10 entrance fee is what makes this relationship not proportional. Because of that $10 initial fee, it's not going through the origin, zero, zero. Even though the points lie on a straight line, the graph doesn't go through the origin. This means the relationship is not proportional. So this is an example of proportional, and this would be not proportional. Proportional would be that Tala reads 30 pages of her book per day. That's every day. For y is equal to kx, we'd have 30 pages that she read is equal to the unit rate, 30 over 1, which is equal to 30, isn't it? That's our k, and that's per day. In one day, if she reads 30 pages each day, she's going to read 30 pages. In the first day, she'd read 30 pages. The second day, she would have read 60. The third day, she would have read 90. The fourth day, she would have read 120. And for each one of these, k is equal to 30. 
not proportional would be Tyler Reed's 30 pages the first day, then 10 pages each day. So she would start at 30 pages in one day, which is 30. But then the second day, she has the 30 pages she read here plus 10 she read the second day. That's a total of 40 pages. And in two days, that's 20. And if she read 30 pages the first day, 10 pages the second day, 10 pages the third day, for the third day, that would be 50 divided by 3. That comes out to 16.6, and the 6 repeats. So we can see that k is not constant, that constant of proportionality isn't there. We've got different numbers for k. So it's not proportional. If the ratios are constant, the equation is in the form y equals kx, the graphed line goes through the origin, the relationship is proportional. And remember, the constant of proportionality, k, is the ratio y to x as y divided by x. y divided by x is equal to k, that constant of proportionality. We're finished with Module 4. We're moving on to Module 5, which is all about proportions and percent. We're going to be talking about finding the percent increase in our next lesson. Like always, have a great day and join me for the next lesson. Bye.